In a recent video, we installed EverQuest Reborn. Today, we're gonna take a look at Reshade, where we can apply DirectX features to an older game, so that way we can enjoy it in a little bit higher quality, and maybe get some of our friends enticed to play the game with us. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is navigate to reshade.me. This particular website includes all the necessary files that you're going to need to basically reshade everything and you can get the updated versions of reshade here. Now what reshade does is it basically converts older games that either had, uh, that had OpenGL support or no DX support and converts them into a modern DirectX format so that way you get better lighting effects and uh, certain shader effects and texture effects as well. So go ahead and head here and download the reshade. And once this is finished downloading, we're going to navigate over to our installation folder where we have our EQ Reborn. Now, once this is finished downloading, simply open the file and it's gonna open an executable. You may have a piece of software that lets you know that you know, it's an executable that might be harmful to your computer. However, I've used this on multiple occasions and have run it through several different uh, antivirus checks and it, it comes out clean, so it's perfectly viable. So now that we've got this open, let's go ahead and select the game in which we're going to install this reshade on. Now what you're going to need to do is navigate to your installation folder where you have installed EQ Reborn and you want to locate the file that is the EQ game application. So once we navigate to that, double click to select it. And then the option that we're going to want to run is DX9, so Direct3D9. And then it's going to ask you if you want to download the files. We're obviously going to want to say yes here because this is going to get every single thing that we need to set up reshade and increase the texture quality of our EQ Reborn. So let's go ahead and click yes and you'll see that it starts downloading. And now that it's finished downloading, you're going to get this pop-up window here that just has all the different effects. By default, everything is enabled and we're going to go ahead and just hit okay on this. You don't wanna uncheck anything if you're unfamiliar with this. It's something that you can edit in the future, but just let's click okay for now. And then we can close our reshade. Now what we're going to see here is that we have installed a shader folder. So these are all your different shaders and textures for different types of overlay textures. And we've got an entire folder here that's dedicated to reshade. What we'll also notice is that uh, in this particular folder, we have also installed a D3 D9 DLL. And what this does is this is what converts the game to a direct X. Now by default, all of those things are going to be turned on when you open up the game for the first time. But what we're going to want to do is go ahead and navigate to the link in the description for my Punkshu custom INI for this. And you'll see this here is on my desktop currently. And it is as simple as extracting it into this particular file. So you put it directly into the EQ Reborn directory. And I've already had it in there, but we're gonna go ahead and replace it so that when we load re, uh, Reshade up this time, uh, it's ready to go. All right, so we have Reshade installed and applied to our Reborn. We've also got our custom Punkshu INI installed. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and launch the game. And you're going to see a bar at the top load all of the reshade binaries and things that are needed to increase that quality. Now I am using a multi-monitor setup, so this does prefer my primary monitor. So I will go ahead and bring it back up to the top here in just a moment. All right, so here we have the EQ game loaded up. Uh, reshade is going to have some defaults applied to it. In Windows, you're gonna hit your home button now you're going to get a bit of a different screen than I have here. I've already had reshade set up on this particular installation of Reborn, but what you're going to get is a basic, you know, welcome to Reborn, or excuse me, welcome to reshade and a continue button. Once you click on that continue button, you'll have the option to select a drop down here for your custom INI folder, and you're going to select Punk Shoe Custom. Now my particular custom installation is a very simplistic set up basically what this does is adds levels of uh, anti-aliasing to the game 
as well as some uh, quality in terms of, of colors, as well as add some denoising effects to the game. Because when you do add anti-aliasing and these, these vibrances to the game, and to an older game like this, you do get some grain. So by adding in that denoise, a light denoise, it actually smooths it out quite a bit. And you can already see the, the details uh, in the textures of this particular character here. And you can see where that denoising is, is really working on those trees back there, as well as the anti-aliasing really smoothing out the, this image. So once you've got Punkshu INI installed, you're going to have a continue button here that you can click. Let's go ahead and click that. I tend to like to reload reshade after I've selected my INI. And that's all you have to do. Once that is done, you simply hit your home button again and you are ready to get into the game. You see how, how epic those, those spell textures are? It's pretty amazing. Now I wanted to give you guys a, 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 a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. You may see that at the beginning of this video uh, where I do a split comparison very much like I did in Asomi. Um, I have found that Reshade doesn't really have a huge impact on general environmentals when it comes to EverQuest. It does kind of amplify the colors a little bit, it smooth textures a little bit, uh, but for the most part, it's gonna be on character models, enemy models, spell effects, uh, lighting effects, similar to this where you're going to see the biggest impact. But because it is an older game and it is still only using DirectX 9, there really isn't a massive improvement on environmentals, but I do find that it cleans it up a little bit and makes it uh, more enticing when you're trying to get people to play EverQuest who may have never played EverQuest and aren't okay with the older textures by adding reshade to the process. It does kind of clean it up a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more enjoyable visually. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, I am going to be starting a new series called Reshade Everything, where I'm going to try to reshade a bunch of older games, and we'll be doing short videos on those on how to install it and doing visual tours uh, in comparison uh, with Reshade and Without. I look forward to getting those out and having responses from you guys. Let us know what you'd like to see if you like this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom of the video. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we have new videos going live. We will be doing Battle Axe Live here starting very soon. Stay tuned for those on Mondays. And be sure to check out Def's videos on Fridays. Uh, those are our, our show pieces, if you will. It's where we really get into some topics and we have some fun. But regardless, again, I hope this was helpful and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one.